we have been documenting human rights atrocities against Hindu minorities since our inception. It was actually one of the reasons uh, that we decided that it was important to have an institution that was um, professionalized, that had full-time staff with subject matter expertise that would document these types of issues to bring about awareness so that we as Americans could encourage our government to do more um, in bringing light to these issues and alleviating the suffering that you know, millions of people are facing, and specifically Hindus are facing, um, in Pakistan, in Bangladesh, in Afghanistan, Malaysia, Trinidad, Tobago. These are some of the countries in which there are Hindu diasporas and or indigenous Hindu um, populations that are persecuted on the basis of their own, because of their religion. Now, many of these issues also overlap with other religious minorities. Pakistan is a good example. In Pakistan, annually, some 1,000 Hindu and Christian girls, largely some Sikh in there as well, are stolen from their families. And so since 2011, we're talking about 10,000 girls who have been abducted. And the issues that they face are they're abducted, they are um, forced to convert, and these conversions are certified in mosques. Usually they're minors, so they are not even capable of giving consent to, for conversion. They are um, then forcefully married, often to you know men who are two to three times their age, and they're strangers to them, um, and then they're raped and um, there's forced separation from their families. Oftentimes what happens in these situations is that once the girl is converted, um, she ha is put, you know, put the, the fear of life into her and basically is told that if you um, say that this was not voluntary, we will kill your family. And so you have these young vulnerable girls who have already faced um, such un unimaginable violence, then having to live in fear, because if they do speak the truth about the circumstance, they could very well endanger their families. And so this is an issue that we're going to be launching our campaign, um, Save, Save Pakistan's um, Stolen Girls, um, in the coming weeks. And we're hoping to generate international um, attention on this issue so that the Pakistani government does more to protect these girls and other neighboring countries can also ensure that it's um, that it that they also make it part of their foreign policy, right. whether it's, um, you know, putting pressure on the government or creating um, amnesty. So, you know, places like India with the Citizens Amendment Act has obviously tried to um, address this issue of religious persecution of minorities in Pakistan, um, but to right. ensure that future victims have some sort of avenue um, to relief and to safety. Please remember to subscribe to us and switch on the notifications for this channel. For our other social media links, more content and to support our work, please visit citti.net. Dhanavad, Namaskar.